The call for action following this past year's mass shooting is getting louder. Many lawmakers are now pushing this issue to the top of their agendas. And tonight, a local woman whose life was forever changed by a school shooting sits down with 6 News anchor Kristen Farley to share her story. She joins us now live in the studio with what she had to say. Kristen? Well, Jean, we've heard from lawmakers, school leaders, even the president weighing in on how to keep our kids safe at school. But as parents across the nation locked down their own opinions on this debate, we wanted a more personal perspective. Oh my God. Campbell County High School, November 8th, 2005. Oh my God, uh, here. Be we should have multiple weapons. Newtown, Connecticut, December 14th, 2012. Seven years and nearly 800 miles apart, but the raw emotion and the lives forever changed are all too similar. It takes you right back to the day, every time. Each shooting painfully brings into focus Joe Bruce's mission to make sure her husband, Ken, is not forgotten. He was killed in one of the worst school shootings in East Tennessee history. Kenny Bartley, just 14 at the time, shot and killed Bruce and injured school leaders Jim Pierce and Ron Seal. <laughs> Today, an armed school resource officer, or SRO, is quite visible at Campbell County High School, and memorials stand honoring Bruce's husband. But do others really remember? I just think we, f we forgot that instant pain, and sometimes we really need to kind of keep that fresh so that we can learn from it and grow from it. The Newtown shootings undeniably reignited the school safety and gun control debate, and Joe hopes this time we will see change. What I find happens um, is that an event happens, and you have like four weeks, and if you do something amazing in four weeks, then great. And if you miss the window, once again, something else comes along, and then all of that work sits and then we wait for the next event. For Joe, a social worker at Willowbrook Elementary in Oak Ridge, waiting is not an option. While she doesn't like some of the focus in the national debate right now, she is glad that people are talking. I really hate to think about that guns are the big issue for education. I hate to say that, but I do, because it isn't to me. For me, it's about the individuals in our buildings and making sure that we know them. Joe reflects on stories about her husband's killer, saying she heard Bartley did not feel like he fit in, but she believes her own husband was trying to reach out to him. That day my husband was shot, there were rumors that he actually gave Kenny Bartley his lunch money um, and fed him. So I, I think they were trying. And today, she is still trying, trying to keep the focus on what she sees as the real problem and also trying to reach out to those who need help. For me personally, I look at it and I think guns don't kill people. People kill people. And so for me, I want us to focus more on the mental health issues and uh, building strong communities and a healthy culture of mutual respect. But Joe does not think the entire solution is mental health. Coming up, we talk guns. Should teachers carry them? Should there be SROs and who's going to pay for it all? Hear her thoughts and learn more about why these particular questions are even more personal than you might realize. Next. Well, just a few moments ago, we heard from Joe Bruce, the widow of one of the worst school shootings in East Tennessee history. We heard Bruce say that she wants us to all focus on mental health issues when it comes to our children. But she also has strong opinions about guns in our schools. So let's go back to 6 News anchor Kristen Farley with that part of the story. Kristen? Well, Jean, Joe Bruce sat down with us and spoke from the heart, even recalling stopping in her tracks when she heard of the tragedy unfolding in Newtown. We want to pick up our conversation again as we talk about guns in our schools. We start with a proposal here at the state level that would allow teachers to carry guns. We asked, does she think that's a good idea? My personal opinion is no. I don't want to see um, any teacher carry a gun in our building. Teachers are here to teach. But Joe Bruce is not completely against guns in our schools. In fact, she says it might be necessary, but it's important to put them in the right hands. I actually uh, am a huge supporters of, a supporter of SROs. And the reason was because when my husband was shot, he, we had a, a security guard and she was doing a great job, but she was a school employee. 
And so she had to follow the school rules, which meant that she had to wait for a male to come to help search this young gentleman that she was told had a gun. So for me, it's personal. Bruce fights back tears as she walks through November 8, 2005, the day Kenny Bartley opened fire in the offices at Campbell County High School, killing her husband and wounding two others. Today, Campbell County has a paid SRO. But not all schools do, and Bruce says it may be time for that to change. I think if we really feel that strongly that someone needs to be armed to protect our children in our building, then we owe it to them to find the tax dollars or whatever dollars to put an SRO in place. While counties and states all across our nation struggle to figure out the best solution, Joe says she hopes we don't get caught up in the politics of this debate and that we remember, quote, deep work, as she puts it, needs to be done. I think that what happens is that when an incident of violence comes into any part of our community, we jump and try to fix things in a hurry and then it kind of dies down and then we move forward, just move on, not necessarily moving forward. But Joe is trying to move forward. She has continued to work in our schools and counsels our children. And yes, every year she does return to the place where her husband was shot and killed. Sometimes it's difficult to go to Campbell County High School, um, but I'm proud to go there because we have a wonderful scholarship fund there and we've been able to send many students to college in the last seven years. And so um, once a year I get to go there and, and give those scholarships away. Now Joe also helps conduct SRO workshops across the nation, she says, Sharing her husband's story brings her a sense of peace, and she hopes that she, what she has learned will help others avoid what she and so many others are living through. Jean. Thank you, Kristen. As for the shooter in this case, Kenny Bartley, he pleaded guilty and got a 45-year sentence. Then at the age of 20, he said he was coerced into a plea deal and a judge granted him a new trial. The state has appealed <laughs> that ruling. The case is currently before the Court of Criminal Appeals. Bartley's being held at the Northwest Correctional Facility in Tiftonville.